Right, so the plan today is to map out and do some calculations for the hydroelectric. First, need to make a tool. The tool is going to be a water level. I don't have special lasers and all that sort of stuff like most people do, but I do have a nature's level, which is water. So a bit of clear pipe and a bit of tubing on, you know, like that, and we can make a, a water level on a stick. So. so Okay, so can you see the water level in there? So if I tip it, you see it moves. Nature's level, that's all you need to survey. And you can get quite a good level of accuracy with that. So what we do is we sight down it. I'm going to try and do this while I'm filming. You sight down it with your eye, line the two points up, somewhere like that. And then wherever those two points are pointing, that's your level. Now you obviously need a stick on the other end, measuring stick, which we're going to make next. But that, where those two points are pointing at, is the level. I've just got some bits of plywood screwed together here. This is going to be our scale, so we're going to mark. That there is our zero point, so if there's no deviation in the land, that is where our bits, our two water levels will be looking at at that point there. So I'm going to go and get a nice bright marker, then mark everything else relative to it. We'll do 100 millimeter increments. And that should give me a pretty good degree of accuracy. go we've got a scale and it's uh, I mean it's not perfect during the earth did it about five minutes but it's gonna work for our purposes it's gonna work very well okay so just run a little test here so just looking down sighting down them if I line my eyes up that is at 80 centimeters the difference between that here and there it's 80 centimeters in height it doesn't so here's the highest point not a lot of water in here at the moment, it hasn't rained for a while and, uh, and it's the summer obviously so this would be three or four times stronger than this on average during the winter when I actually need it. I don't need it at the moment, I've got enough solar but um, yeah in the winter that will be much much stronger. So this is our starting point, we're going to go from here, work our way all the way down through the woods and calculate how, uh, how much head we've got. So, Sticks at the height of the of the source. Now we're going to sight down our levels. I'm not sure if you can see the post over there or the numbers on it. So in the level, that is a meter. So we're at one meter. So it's a fighter jet just flew over. So now I'm going to come to the spot where the stick is standing, and then I'm going to. That will be the point in which I now use the water level from. I'll hop that along to another point over there and tally up on my phone, keep a note of how many metres it is. I have a feeling it's going to be more than I thought. I thought it was about 10, but if that's a metre already, it's more like 15 or 20. So that's excellent news. Okay, so we had the first measurement was 100, and then the second measurement I just did was 120. Actually, it was more like 125, it was just over. So we'll just go along and keep track of them like that. Okay, next one's done. That was another 1200 mil, so it's going to be a lot. We're at three meters already. I'm barely even, not even at a steep bit yet. 
So the pipe is going to run along on the inside of the stream there, and then there's a natural opening here where I think it's flooded out or something before the pipe's thing going to come through here and then start making its way down through the woodland. So it's the last point I'm at. I'm at nearly three metres already by the time we get here. So I'm really, really pleased. It looks like it's going to be way more power than I than I thought. So it's great news. So we're going to head off down through the woodland, the direction the pipe's going to go. Okay, so here's the final point where the turbine will go. This isn't the water that's going to be flowing through it. It's going to be that water over there, because that goes around there. And, but this is just a more direct route, this little stream, but it doesn't actually have much flow in it. But this is where the turbine's going to end, and then it will, the, you know, the used up energy water, the water that's been depleted of its energy, will then go down here and then join back into the stream, just here. Okay, I've got all my totals here. Um, really good news. So 15.6 meters. Now that is probably actually more like 17 meters because a lot of these I sort of I, I always went lower than I thought it was. So you know I can be pleasantly surprised when it's actually all hooked up. So they're definitely it's definitely 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 at least that. Probably more like 17. So I'm going to base everything around it being that and then we can just be uh, pleasantly surprised. So next calculation we're going to do is calculate how much water we've got. Alright, so this is the, uh, the lowest it ever is, so this is the worst case scenario ever. Um, in the winter it runs at least twice as fast as this, so I'm going to get a bit of a calculation of how much, uh, how much water is in going through here, so I'm going to fill up a bucket and tie it with a stopwatch. Let's see how much, uh, see how many litres per second we've got a stopwatch, here we go. So I'm going to do 10 seconds, see how many litres we get. Okay, ten seconds. Well, that is this bucket to measure it. Five liters, so that's only half a liter a second at that moment. So it's not particularly good, we might have to do something about that. That is the lowest it ever gets, so half a liter a second is the lowest we ever get up here. So that's uh that's the it's the baseline for that. Yeah, it's been a, a really rubbish solar day, hardly any solar coming in, about 10 watts, so I've come back up to uh take another measurement of the stream here. It's looking much better. I could really do with this hydroelectric today, so I'm gonna do the same thing, 10 seconds, see how many liters per second, do it a couple of times, take an average. Okay wow well, that's a that's a big difference. So that was a that was five seconds. So 10 liters in five seconds. So that's that's uh well that's about 300 watts potential power there at least so that's really good loads of power that is okay I've uh, run the test a couple of times now and that there that flow there is about two liters per second that's not collecting all of it a lot of it's going around the sides and stuff but about two liters a second is what I'll be taking from that so that is about 200 watts 220 watts something like that Nice usable amount of power, and that's in the summer just after a, a little bit of rain overnight. So, happy with it, it's going well, the, uh, the numbers are working out, it's looking good. Right, so let's take a look at some numbers. So, if we say we've got 17 metres, which I think I have, it actually came out a bit lower than that, but at 17 metres, um, it actually correlates perfectly at 60% to um, whole numbers, so I'm going to do that for simplicity. So at 17 metres, at half litre per second, it would be 50 watts. 17 metres at one litre per second equals 100 watts. So the average at the moment, 
during the summer it's been not great weather and we've had a hundred uh, watts hundred watts times 24 hours okay equals 240 so 2. let's say just 2.4 kilowatt hours it's easier so good usable amount of power that's now during the summer when there's not a lot going on so during the winter when the flow is average at 2 litres per second we'll be looking at 200 watts and which equals uh, 4.8 8 kilowatt hours so it's not a big system but it is a good usable amount of power and obviously a lot of the time it does actually run a lot faster than that during the winter that's that's probably an average I think it's probably actually more than that the average but I can't I can't get those figures now but this amount here this 4.8 this is more energy than I used to use in my flat um, so that was for electric shower electric cooking this is this is a lot of power here so this is what we're aiming for to have this during the winter that's loads we have to also remember I'm also going to have the solar power as well and the solar power adds another one kilowatt hour per day so we're looking at on average throughout the summer and winter I'll probably have uh, between five and six kilowatt hours so, kilowatt hours so that's actually quite a lot of power that's more than I, I need here it's enough to run a workshop and stuff really you, know, you, you wouldn't you don't usually run tools that are two kilowatts for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours they're usually fairly short duration so this is good and uh, I'm also gonna have the lake you know I'm gonna have the lake so imagine that this is the the lake here and then the turbines down here this is the turbine here okay yeah uh, and then and then the intake for the for the water is up here this is the intake where the stream comes in the stream comes in there it's the intake and there's gonna be a pipe coming down here all the way down to the turbine right and then water coming out of here there's also going to be a pipe coming out of the lake joining into here like this so when this stream hasn't got much in it say in the summer or say um, I'm using heavy amount of electricity in the workshop and I need more power I can come up here open a little gate valve here and flood a load of water out of the pond in through the turbine down through the pipe dropping that 17 meters through the turbine now out of this pond I can put four liters per second liters per second um, and that would equate to 400 watts and from the pond I could do that for probably eight hours before dropping the level of the pond very much so another this is up here this is like a uh, this is about a four kilowatt hour battery because I can turn it on whenever I want and put turn that energy stored in water down through and go through the turbine and then because this little pond here has a spring feeding into it and some groundwater from around here off the land that flows into it there it actually fills up again quite quickly so that's the plan those are the numbers we're looking at tiny tiny little hydroelectric system you know it's uh, it, it's one of the smallest you'll see but I'm trying to show here that just with a tiny little stream and a bit of a uh, bit of drop of water you can actually make some really quite big numbers of, of good usable power and that works out I don't know that's about a pound a day's worth of worth, worth of power right there so you know 365 pounds a year five or six years the system's pay, paid itself off and then you got free energy and you're in charge of it no one's gonna send you bills and tell you the price is going up or anything like that it's a completely self-reliant system and it's you know it's gonna cost two and a half thousand pounds or something for the pipe and all that kind of stuff but yeah it's gonna be reliable and it'll work for a long time and I'm gonna be able to have five kilowatt hours per day which is plenty enough for my needs so I just wanted to make sure to reiterate the fact that all of these numbers I showed you were all at 60 percent efficiency now I think I can actually get a little bit better than that I think I can actually probably get it closer to 70 percent so obviously all those numbers will go up a little bit and the amount of water I would need to pull from the lake would go down so I wanted to go over the lake so I know there's gonna be people out there saying there's no possible way you can pour pull four liters a second uh, uh, out of that lake for eight hours so I'm gonna just go over the maths with you on that right now so 
it does actually work out. So let's have a look here. So the lake is about a 15 by 15 sort of circular square. Okay, so let's just call it a square to make it easy. But it's about that. It's about 225 square meters. So we've got 225, okay? So that's square meters. So if we were to take a full litre, uh, sorry, a full metre of water off it, we can make that into uh, cubic metres. So we times that by 1,000, because there's 1,000 litres in a cubic metre. And that would give us 225,000, okay? Litres. But I don't want to take a full metre of height off of the, off of the lake, because that's too much. So I divide that by two, because that will give me half a metre of height. So if I take half a metre off the level of the pond, I will have 122,500 litres of water. So if I have four litres a second, remember that the four litres a second is at 60% efficiency, so we could actually need less than that. But if it was four litres a second, we times that by 60, we get 240. We times that by 60 again, we get 1400. So we'll be looking at 14. 0.400 oh, oh, um, litres per hour. So if we times that then by 8, we get 115-200 litres in, in 8 hours. So you see that, that, that number there that, and that, they're pretty close. And with the difference in efficiency, they'll actually be uh, even closer than that so so I hope all my maths and my rambling there all made sense to you guys uh, if you see any problems or mistakes with it please let me know I'd be quite willing for anyone uh, anyone a bit better at all that stuff than me because I'm not very good at that stuff I must admit but I think it's all right and if you see any mistakes please let me know um, next video I'll be making a hydro well I'll be showing you how I made a hydroelectric turbine I've actually built it there's a little sneak preview there so I'm not doing the videos in order because like from top to bottom, like from the top of the stream to the bottom of the stream or anything like that. They're just the way that I can do it based on how much money I've got. Uh using the video the money from the videos and from the Patreon account to um to pay for the pipe. The pipe's the most expensive thing. So um yeah, they're not gonna be in order, but they'll all make sense, the whole system will make sense by the end of it anyway, so it's not a problem. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.